Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are back with a little more Room 3. So, we had, in the last episode, finished off the Clock Tower, and before that, the White House. So, after burning our retinas and exploding our eardrums, you would think that the rest of these episodes would sort of be a little like this. But it turns out, no, we're fine. We're probably a, a person on a higher plane, much like the null element that we are trying to pursue. So as we're pursuing it, let's get back into the game and see what we can uncover next. We are back. We have our original contents before we sort of went through that doorway into the clock tower. Uh, and now we can um, get out of... All right, we don't need that anymore. Uh, so we had this token, which uh, does it... Yep, it does, it does stuff. Oh my goodness, it's a key. So we get to unlock something around here somewhere. Uh, just want to make sure the table isn't hiding any secrets here. Uh, but the most obvious answer will be sort of to go back to that central fountain and see what this uh, this pyramid has to offer. Uh, although I know we've gotten some stuff here. Nope. Seventeen ninety-five is that a good vintage for that machine? And I have a feeling we're not supposed to be here yet. Uh, nope. <laughs> Nothing as far as the lens can see. Uh, still just. Checking around just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. I think we're good for now. Okay. And if not, well, you know what? That's what jump cuts are for. Uh, okay. So we're back here. We have our third of five pieces. And away it goes. Goodness. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We have ourselves an optical device. Fair enough. Uh, yep. I can see it. Uh, I have a feeling. Does this extend at all? Does it rotate? Are there buttons to push? No, I think I slot this into something. Fair enough. All right, then. And it's sort of pointing me over. Is there... Uh, what's this? Hmm. Is stuff supposed to go on here? If so, I am not aware. Yeah, I have a feeling that we're we're not meant for this puzzle yet. Whoosh. Okay. It doesn't look like we're supposed to be there yet. This just exit out, exits out, although... We wouldn't be looking at this if this didn't do something in the future. All right. I think we need 
that anymore. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll see. Yeah, I'm sure we have to get in here at some point. Perhaps not yet. What do we have? We have this box device. Or metal object. We have this fashioned key and then the optical device, which let's just... It's a telescope. Yes, you look through it. Uh, just because I know there's still more mysteries to uncover in these two rooms that we've found ourselves starting in. Uh, think that's for that. Maybe? Yes. Click. The drawer is empty. Oh. Someone made a mess. Uh, Alright, well. Drawers locked tight. I know better to think that this drawer is empty for any particular reason. But it's not letting us gather anything from inside of it. Uh... Claw marks? A whole lot of invisible paint down there on the floor. Uh, but no, let's... Ah. Dun dun! A handle! <laughs> I wanted to check the other side just to make sure. Okay, yeah, that's... That's what it wanted us to get. And let me guess, the handle goes over here. It does. Her trunk. I don't know if this is actually from our friend, the craftsman. Doesn't have it uh, signed by such. Uh, but we'll just sort of assume that it is not. July 30th, Maggie Cox was a charlatan. And there is no such thing as a spirit medium. Everything she believed was a lie. I know this for a fact. I concocted the lies. How is it then that she alone can resist me? If she will not rest in that. If she will not rest in the prison I have built her, I shall build one deeper still. Oh. Could you be gone? We don't know yet, but we will. All right. Nothing, nothing to be seen here. Okay. So, okay. What did that do exactly? Nothing. Just shows us that there's a note and there's a picture of a key. Oh, of course. Of course, I see it. There is a switch. Oh, does... I don't want the lens. Does that mean that if we go over here and open this up... No, because that would have been simple. So it must be somewhere else. Sure, it's still not anything within this drawer. Nope. Okay. 
So if that centerpiece is moved, oh, yep. Oh, it's unlocked now. What do we have here? Oh. Again, not from the the craftsman. July 23rd. The house is turning in on itself. Warped by the null. I find myself forever traveling in circles. Down corridors that turn back on themselves. I use the doorway machines to bypass the maze. But the crystals run low on energy. I must find a new power source soon. Or be forever trapped. Fair enough. Whomever you are. <sighs> yes, we get you, game. We get you. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I guess this goes over there. And this. Oh. It's a token. I can get my fortune read. Yippee! Uh, is there anything that... It almost looks... You know what, let's... Can we... Can we close this? Yes, thank you. Almost seems... Well, maybe not. I was going to say, maybe that doorway opens as well, but... Maybe not. Maybe it do not. Well, anyway. Uh, clock. I forgot about you. But I don't think we have anything for you yet. So you can just stand there and look pretty. Uh, okay. Back to the other room. Which is this one over here? So like I said, this was the game that started to introduce puzzles within themselves, so... Okay, Miss Maggie. You're charlatan. I am not... I'm not caring. Hello there. The game is quick draw stud. Place your bets. Oh, stop procrastinating and choose one. Fine. Imprisoned? That's not a good fortune. Well, maybe I'll become unimprisoned. He deceives you. Who? The craftsman? Well, yeah, but we sort of knew that. Everybody deceives me. Ooh. Some, some nifty... Uh, uh, someone went a little crazy with the paint, apparently. All right, well... That wasn't uh, creepy at all, now was it? Ooh. No, well, I guess I'm. <laughs> I guess I'm exiting. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's take a look at the wheel because, yeah, this sort of looked like it was gonna play be placed in this little alcove in here before I even realized it was a thing. Uh, all right, so let's, yep. Uh, can we turn you, please? Thank you. And I guess we go in here next. Lovely. Yay, okay. Now what do we have? Other than more machinery. The more machinery or the better. Er. Uh, Alright, well we have some 
some file faxes here. Ugh, nothing but drawers this episode. Am I right, folks? Am I right? Uh, something goes here. And we don't know what it is yet. So none of these drawers have anything. How about the bottom ones? Oh. Another mysterious note. July 27th. That interfering friend of A.S. continues to ask questions. And I should like to ask a few of my own. Agent Smith. How did they overcome the null? How much energy resides in that brilliant soul of theirs? I would like to take the last dregs of energy. I have stored to bring them here, but they might also be the key. I have no choice but to take the risk. Don't tell me that you are the craftsman and we've just been giving you the wrong voice all this time. Maybe he has multiple voices. You never know. You never know. Okay, well. Uh, can we do anything with you? Oh, yes we can. Uh, Alright, well. This, this looks like simple math, so. Uh, that's. 16, 8, 8, and, all right, that's what we want. We want 8 and 4 and 5, which does equal into 17, right? 8, 12, yeah, that's, so, what we do? Okay, great. Next. Oh, getting with the maths. Uh, all right, well, let's uh, see. Uh, seven. No, it's not going to be seven times. Well, what's seven times four? Uh, 14, 28. Yes, yeah, seven times four plus three. I was a little bit of a math whiz in school. I haven't really used it all that much nowadays, but, uh, you know, it helps when it can. Ooh. Being all long and stuff. All right. Uh, let's take 8 times 5 is 40. Uh, plus 4 is 44. Uh, that may be too much. 44 and 3. 40. Yeah, because once we minus the 17, which was the route I was going to go, it doesn't really work. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10. 17. 4 times 29 minus 5 is 24, but that doesn't work either. <sighs> I'll get this eventually. Just need to know what combination will work here. I'm going to try working it in reverse too, but I think I'm on the right path here. Uh, 8, times is, 8 times 2 is 16. And 7 is 23. 23, 33, 33, 35 minus 5 is not. So then it has to be 8 times... Yeah, the last little bit so it gets me every time. All right, I'll be back when I figure this out. Okay, I think I got it here. So running through from top to bottom, if we take two times five is ten. Uh, plus 4 is 14, plus 12 is 24, 26, 
minus 5 from that, which is 21, and then we add 9, and that gets us our 30. So, yeah, <laughs> it sort of took a little bit just to get all the pieces in place, but let's get that going. Yep, and it worked. There we go, so click. What about the library? Or I guess we have to go back to the library now. All right, fine. We're going. <laughs> don't don't look up ominously like that. It's gonna make me think that something's gonna happen. All right, back into the library. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. All right, all right, we're getting ya, we're getting ya. 1795. <laughs> you gotta put something in here, man. Cross-shaped key. Uh, I have a feeling that we know where this cross shape was before. Come on, back, back, back. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that was in the other room, so let's venture off. Oh, you know what? No, it's in the basement. That file, that card file thingamajig. It had a cross shape right above it. Yep. Let's go here. Click. <laughs> a little Simon says. Come on, go back in, go back in. Don't adjust the camera. There we go. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's another token. We get to do it twice. We get to do it twice, how nice. All right, we'll just close all those up because we're neat and tidy. And then back to the library. Again. Back out here. Across the dancing pyramids. Hey, Miss Maggie. Will you tell my fortune again? I have more pieces of silver for you. Would you like to play a game? That one. Escape. I've been trying to do that all this time. Another crank. All you give me is cranks. Oh, what? No cryptic messages now? Fine. I loved it how you told me he was uh, deceiving me before, but not now. All right, what we got here? What do we got and where does it go? This is the more important question. Well, we have this. We have this that I have not even, even thought about uh, doing anything on. Uh, well, a book is supposed to go there. Do I put, no. I don't put the weighted piece there because it's not, uh, it's not telling me to, essentially. 
Uh, is there anything in here that needs to be done? And almost doesn't seem like it, so. It's $17.95. I have a feeling that's going to become important soon. Uh, that was just to the doorway there. I don't think there's anything on this desk. Oh, yeah, there was just that. Is it something upstairs? I have a feeling it is not. And that was just for... That was just for the other episode we were at last time. So, maybe not in this room. Actually, probably more than likely not in this room. Uh, is it over here now? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I guess that optical piece goes there. So, okay. The outer ring doesn't move. I am. Oh, no, it doesn't want to rest there. Do you rest? Okay, so you have to go through all that. Uh, do you go. Yes. Dun dun. And yet, another room! Uh-oh. Yeah, we're getting into another... another thing here. With some machinery that we know what, uh, what the deal is, so... Another test passed with all colors flying. And now the time truly is at hand. I promised you answers. And answers you shall have. Every soul is unique. And so must be every trap that snares it. An altar of belief. A tome of answers. A crypt of terrors. For A.S. His box full of demons, knowledge, power, sight, beyond sight, all lies, all just bait in the trap. This house was to be yours had you failed, but you walked free of it as you have all the rest. I am certain now that you are the one. I have sought. Haha. Ha. You thought I was going to say you were some chosen one? Get over yourself. <clears throat> the one who will find the center of the labyrinth. The one who will walk free of this very realm. The chosen. Oh, I made that joke already. Never mind. The craftsman. All right, then. So, I am the one. Um, all right, let's see what we have. And we got that power thing, so... Of course, there must be some sort of device, and there it is. Yeah, we got more... We got more megaphones, but first... Let's, uh, let's see what we need to do here. Uh, so, nope, that'll do it. Uh, I'm feeling, oh, maybe that one. 
So if it pops back. Yep, there we go. We have power. Nintendo power. And of course we have that. It always knows. Let's go back through here. And, yep, we know that this is... Oh. We are not getting power. Oh, right, because we need... <laughs> we need this first. Click. I'm just going to match its pace here. Yep. And more, more walls to laser. More doors to uncover. And here we go! have yet another place to decipher all its secrets but you know what we've spent a little bit of time in the in the main area i guess as it were so let's leave this until the next episode and we'll carry forth solving the mysteries that the room three has to offer if you enjoyed this episode be sure to hit that like button leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel for more future episodes of The Room 3. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.